Called? Uh, yes, Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious how well uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You
Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a reason for everything. Oh, like your vi- Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk <laughs> to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't Franz tell you to stay in your room? 
I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No, you can't leave. You are arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay. I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. <laughs> Wilhelm? You're okay? Oh my god! It's okay now. I almost had a heart attack. Uh, your breakfast is treacherous. How would I know? I didn't make it. Anyway, I'm fine now. So, where were we? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you <laughs> until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you oh, should really calm today. down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. K. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrests, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are on the way, and you'll be told everything, all in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than he ought to be. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. Kai. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. A birthday joke from my colleagues at the bank. <laughs> It's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> I assure you, it's no joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's... <coughs> Again? Wilhelm? Do something! You should really be more careful. Did anyone ask your advice? Anyway, I'm fine now. So, where were we? Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we, the guardians of the law, are sent out. That's the law. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this law. All the worse for you, then. 
Look at me, which is a different only in your home. We're treating you politely and you don't seem to appreciate the fact. Maybe you've forgotten, but unlike you, we are still free. And that is no small advantage. Take me to your supervisor as soon as he asks us. Not before. In the meantime, don't trouble your head with matters of no importance. Stay focused. There are many more challenges ahead. You have you And that is well. Let me in for heaven's sake. If you surprise me, while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't to be in my bed. Oh, 
to hand your personal belongings over to us. There's a lot of thieving from the storage room. Things tend to disappear and get sold after a time. And cases like yours, you know how long they can drag on. No, how long can they drag on? Cases like this. For a very long time, naturally. Of course, you'd get your cut from the sale, but it would only be a small sum. And its size is not determined by the size of the sale, but the size of the bribe one has to pay to get the transaction going. Sounds like you are the ones who want to bribe. God forbid! What are you suggesting, Mr. K? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm done speaking with you. A few words with someone on my level will make things incomparably clearer than the longest conversation with you two. Bicycle license. I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification. These are my documents. Now show me yours. Uh, and the arrest warrant. Dear God in heaven, why can't you simply understand your position and stop irritating us with all these pointless questions. This must be some kind of prank. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor. Suit yourself, Mr. Kai. I clearly need someone more intelligent to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> 